And um, the theme is how to build up marriage and family. And this is very important because um, <clears throat> very often Christians are weak in these areas, that they didn't realize that um, they should put much effort into the marriage and the family. Uh, they thought that's a waste of time. But what happened is when there's a problem in the marriage or the family, then the Christian life will also be affected. So um, it's something for us to be uh, careful and also build up. When we build up our marriage, actually we can enjoy it. And then common problems in family. Now, first thing we need to understand the difference between male and female. This is very, very important. And that's the source of many problems. Generally, males are more interested in action and in direction. And females are more interested in family and relationship uh, and, and talking about the feelings and taking care of the feelings. And then males don't like to talk about feelings. Um, they like to talk about things, you know, um, news or sports uh, or activities, games. And uh, females have to talk about feelings. When they have feelings, they, want, they have to talk about it. So that's a big, big difference. Women have to talk about it, and men doesn't like to talk about it. And that's why it causes a lot of problems. <clears throat> and males generally have to learn before they can, they can love. Now, um, now, it depends on the family, but very often um, in many families, the male don't learn to take care of the family members and so they don't uh, naturally you know they they don't have a tendency to care about other people's suffering or feeling like for instance if a family member is having a sickness generally it's the female of the family that would ask about the condition ask about the feelings and the male would just say well take medicine uh, so they don't, uh, they don't think about the feeling of the other person. And generally, females um, feel the feelings of other people more. And female, on the right-hand side here, they're willing, more willing to love and want to be loved. Now, they want to love, uh, they're willing to love, and, um, and at the same time, they like to be loved. They... Um, they it's very important for a female to have that loving relationship. I noticed that uh, in one church I used to serve before that um, the pastor would go to the door uh, when, you know, when the service is over, the pastor would go to the door first and then he would greet everyone. So I, greet, I greeted everyone and I found that when some, uh, some parents bring their children uh, and when it's a girl, generally the girls would, you know, love to talk to me, respond to me, shake hands with me. But for the boys, generally, they, their interest in the little game, the, the little car, little gun, and they don't pay much attention. Now, some of them do pay attention, but definitely it's not as much attention as the girls. Now one time uh, I went back to that area and, and I went to a meeting in a church and then a young woman came up to me and then she said, Pastor Yip, I am so and so and, and I said, I, I don't remember. She said, um, in the past when we left the church and, and my parents were carrying me uh, and then you greeted us, you shook our hand and, you know, and then she told me uh, that she is the daughter of uh, who, of uh, which parents. And I, when I heard that, oh, yes, I remember that. And she remembered that deeply. Of course, she grew up and then her look is totally different. But it shows that, that she was really interested in personal relationship. And that's why women want to, be, want to get married, because they want to be loved by the spouse, uh, women look forward to marriage 
because they want to be loved. They want to have a loving uh, marriage. Now, man wants to get married. Um, sometimes it's because of a responsibility, a sense of responsibility. They have to get married and have children, or they want to have sex. For many men, the reason is they want to have sex. Now, they want to have a, a good family, uh, uh, you know, happy family, but they don't necessarily, you know, need as much care and love and talking. Generally, in the family, the men, you know, they would say, uh, you know, I'll just watch TV, I'll just do my thing, I do, my, I, I do the things in the computer, in the cell phone, and that's fine, you know, I'm eating at home, I'm, sleep, I'm sleeping at home, I'm doing the things at home, I'm faithful to the family. But to the wife, the expectation is very different. She expects the husband to come home and then they would talk and care about each other, that she would tell him about uh, her, you know, what she has to go through, what she has gone through in the day, and what she, has to, what she had to do. And then she expects the husband to listen and care about her and respond to her and say, wow, you had a, a difficult day and you went through all this, and then talk about the problems they were facing. So that was the expectation of the woman, that when she get married, she wants to have this caring relationship uh, in the marriage. And she would also care for the family members uh, more than the husband, generally. But the men would think, wow, you talk too much. There are too many problems. And, and these are minor problems. It's no problem. You don't need to talk about it. It's, it's nothing. So generally, the man thinks, because generally the men take care of the problem like this, you know. Big problems, they will take care of it. But small problems, just neglect it. Don't, don't talk about it. Forget about it. So generally, they don't like to talk about it, especially about feelings, you know. Like sometimes a woman would say, well, he doesn't like to talk to me. Or he, you know, uh, what he said to me is not polite. Then the husband would say, well, then don't talk to him. <laughs> the, the husband would just say, tell her what to do. But the woman like him to feel her feelings and say, wow, it must be difficult for you to go through this and um, it's not easy and uh, how did you manage it and how do you feel now? So the woman expect the husband to respond like that. Now many men doesn't like that. <clears throat> I remember one time uh, a couple that were dating, they were not getting married, getting married, they were just dating. They came to me and then the, uh, the young woman said, well, I'd like him to talk to me more, you know, that we can communicate more. So I talked with the husband and explained the difference between the male and the female, just like I'm explaining now, that if a man wants to get married, then the man should learn to understand the feelings of the, of the wife and then talk to her, respond to her, care about her, and uh, so that the wife would feel comforted. And then the wife, at the same time, need to understand that the husband might not want to talk so much. So she need to be more brief and, uh, and do not let her emotions affect the conversation. But generally, women, when they are not listened to, then they carry a lot of emotions. They become unhappy and they might scream and yell or, you know, or or get angry and then the man will get more angry. So that happens a lot of times is because of this um, communication style is different. And so at, at that time when this uh, dating couple came to me and I, I suggest to both of them, you know, I said uh, to the, the young man that, you know, you can try to listen to her and respond to her feelings and care about her and that will make her happier and then you have a happy marriage. And I said to the young woman that you can, you know, be sensitive to his feelings and not to talk too much and, uh, and, and manage your emotions uh, as much as possible so that when you talk to him that you don't carry the emotions. 
And the man said to me, the man said to me, well, that's not my style. I don't like to listen to women. I don't like to care about, you know, to talk like that. That's not my style. That's, that's your style. Now, actually, that's not my style. It's, I learned it. I was not born like that. I learned from books and I learned from many women that I counsel, that I talk with them, and I understand that women are like that. So if a man wants to get married, he should be prepared to listen to the wife and uh, care about the wife, have empathy toward her and listen to her and respond to her. If he's not ready to do that, then he should not get married because he, then it's better that he's single. But he might want to have a family. He might want to have sex. So he wants this woman, but he wants the woman to be quiet. Don't talk so much. Don't have so many complaints. Don't, don't have so many emotions. Just be calm. Those things are nothing. You know, from the man's perspective, it's nothing. It's not important. But from the, from the woman's perspective, she needs to talk about the feelings. Those feelings are important. Now, that's a big, big difference between male and female. And that's why when children have problems, usually it's the mother who understand the children better. And that's why most people say, my mother cares for me more than my father, because the mother will feel the feelings. She's more sensitive to the feelings, and she cares about other people's feelings, but she also expect, expects her husband and her children and her fam family members to respond to her feelings. If a woman cares about the family members and none of them respond to her, she will feel very lonely, very hurt, and so that makes the family painful. The family life becomes painful. Okay, so what happened to that dating couple? Well, the, the young man said, no, he's not going to change. He's, he'll continue to be like that. Well, I cannot convince him because counseling cannot convince people. I can try to convince but it's up to him whether he wants to change and he doesn't want to change. Now, I, I told him that it won't work, but he doesn't listen. And what happened is soon I heard that they split up. And then uh, a few months later, I think a few months later, he got married. And then uh, not too long after that, I forgot how long is within one year I heard that he got divorced he um, the, f uh, the marriage broke up so what happened is he thought he could have a marriage by not talking with the woman and not listening to her and not caring about her and not loving her and he just won his own way he thought he can do that it doesn't work now but many men say <clears throat> women have to submit to the husband they have to submit to me and, and, you know, when I say don't talk, then don't talk. Well, actually the Bible uh, in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 21 and 22, in verse 22 it says that wives submit to your husband. But in verse 21 it said, submit one to, uh, uh, to one another. So submit one, uh, submit to one another, okay? So, the Bible says submit to one another, not just the wife submit to the husband. The husband need to love the wife and listen to the wife to her needs, care about her, love her as Christ loves the church because Paul knows that and God knows that and so God inspired Paul to say that, that in the family, the husband needs to love the wife as Christ loved the church before the family will become a loving family because generally it's hard for men to, to, um, to love. And it's generally hard for the woman to submit. The reason is because women uh, have a sense of responsibility. Um, they, you know, everything they do, you know, in the family, 
including in the wedding. She wants the wedding to be better, to be perfect. She wants the family to be better. So she has a strong sense of responsibility. And then when the husband generally doesn't have much, as much a sense of responsibility toward the family, then the woman tends to overwhelm and you know, take over. Then she'll take care of the family because the husband just very often doesn't care. So he doesn't care then who takes care of the children. The wife has to do that. And then also the different things in the family the wife has to take care of. So then the wife would tend to take over the family. So Paul reminds the wife to submit to the husband. But if the husband doesn't love the wife, it's hard for the wife to submit because she has so much frustration, so much anger. The marriage would just break down. Now that is what happened to many, many families, including Christian families. And it's sad that many Christians think that, uh, even pastors think that, I don't have to love her. She just submit to me. Now, she would take the part of the wife submitting to the husband, but she would not take the part loving the wife as Christ loves the church and gave himself up for the church. So what happened is then he doesn't do his part of the responsibility. You know, marriage is also a covenant. The covenant, in a covenant generally, is always there are two sides, like God's covenant with us. He made a covenant with us, then God loves us, God gives us salvation, God helps us, God sent the Holy Spirit to help us. We also have the responsibility to trust in God, to love God, to obey God, to serve God. So that's the covenant. In a marriage, also is a covenant. Husband and wife both need to take care of each other and love each other. And that's what they vow at the wedding. But very often the husband would forget about that and forget that he has his responsibility and just thinks that the wife has to submit to her because he thinks that the wife has too many problems. She always likes to talk and therefore Therefore, he doesn't like to listen, and then she just tell her, just shut up and take care of your own thing. Don't worry about it, and things will get better and better if you don't, if you don't talk. So that's what happened to many marriages. Now, when the husband cares about the wife, then the wife, they can talk together how to take care of different problems. Then the wife will learn how to take care of your problems. Now, it's not the husband teaching the wife, but they talk together. And also the husband learn to understand male and female. Now, marriage is important for pastors because, now, of course, there can be single pastors. When a man doesn't understand women and then he serves in the church, what happens is, He's always telling people what to do, you know, just do it, just do it. Then he's like a commander in the army. He doesn't feel the feelings of the people, especially the feelings of the women. He just thinks the women are too troublesome, you know. And he wants the woman to shut up and listen to him and obey. And it doesn't make them feel cared for and shepherded and built up in the spiritual life and then the church will not grow. So the husband needs to learn from the wife to understand the female, understand the feelings of people. But for many people, it's very hard to understand the feelings. Because for, for men, now, now I, I, I want to explain this. Why is there such a big difference between male and female? It came from creation. But if man has not have not sinned, then there won't be a problem. But it's because men have sinned, therefore there is a problem, big problem. Um, God created men so that men want to, you know, they, they're more interested in the career. For most men, the career is more important than family. For most wives, the family is more important than the career. God created men so that they have the desire to build up the, the work, to do the work. 
to support the family, although some men don't do that. But they are more interested in doing something, have a direction. And then women are more interested in relationship. So she's, you know, she expects the family to be, the marriage to be a loving relationship. And then when she has a baby, she expects the husband and her together take care of the baby and build up a loving friend, a family to have a good family and love each other. So she expects that to happen. And, uh, but if the husband doesn't care about the baby, you know, there are studies about the iris, uh, the, the apple of the eye. Okay, the apple of the eyes, that <clears throat> the middle part of the eye will open up when we are, uh, when it's in a, in a, in a, when it's dark, then it opens up wider. And also when people are more excited about something, more interested about something, then the apple will open up wide. And women, the apples open up wide when they see babies. Now for men, when they see a baby, well, it, when it's his baby, then he will take care of the baby, love the baby. But the feeling is much stronger for the woman. So the woman would have a much stronger sense to take care of the baby, while the men would have a less, you know, not as strong a sense of responsibility. And so God created women so that the woman would take care of the family and the man would take care of business and work. Now, before the fall, they can love each other, then there is no problem. But after the fall, man loses, has lost love. And actually women too, women have lost love to a much extent, but women still have more love than men. And so there is this conflict. Then the man, you know, does, doesn't care for the woman, doesn't care about the woman, and so very often uh, he just wish the woman would shut up and just don't talk so much. And then that create more and more problem in the family. So if I, a man said to me, my wife always yells at me. Now, th there could be a problem with the wife, but there could be a problem with the husband also. The husband might not know how to listen to the wife and doesn't respond to the need of the wife, doesn't care about her, and therefore, he gets more frustrated, more and more frustrated. So in order to build up the marriage, the man need to learn to listen. He need to tell himself, if I want to enter God's plan, if I want my life to go better and better, if I want God to be pleased with me, I need to learn to love my wife. I need to learn to listen to people, listen to the feelings, and not just to think about the solution but to think about the feeling of the person, just like God. God cares about the feeling of us. That's why He came and healed the brokenhearted. And also the woman with the 12-year bleeding, he touched Jesus, she touched Jesus secretly. And then Jesus found later that it was her, and Jesus did not blame her. Jesus said, mm -hmm.